Hey guys, Fernando Rodriguez here with xgains.com. We've got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. So today I want to make a video concerning alcohol and artificial sweeteners, uh, natural or not. Uh, specifically when you're following a ketogenic diet, when you're trying to get into ketosis, or if you're you know, taking the low carb, high fat approach, uh, which is trying to burn as, as much fat on your body as possible and as much fat as that you're ingesting as possible. Let's start with alcohol. The thing about alcohol is when we ingest alcohol, our body has no way to store it. There's no storing mechanism for the alcohol that we're ingesting. We can't put it in our body as fat storage or glycogen. So what our body then does, okay, in response to drinking alcohol is say, wait a minute, we have this substance that we cannot store, so we have to burn it as soon as possible. And to do so, it means it has to stop utilizing the carbs as energy and or the fats. So if you're in ketosis already and you're already burning, utilizing fat as fuel, guess what? You're about to stop burning those calories because your body needs to get rid of the alcohol that you just ingested. Let's say that you're not in ketosis, but you're eating up the last few carbs that you got in your system that's about to put you into ketosis. Well, guess what? You're not going to be burning those carbs because your body needs to get rid of the alcohol that you're intaking. Now, let's just say you're regular Joe Schmo eating. If your body was in calorie burning mode, be it carbs or fats, it's gonna stop. And on top of that, anything that you're ingesting with the alcohol is going to go where? Practically in your fat storage because your body cannot take the time to use what you're ingesting as fuel because you are drinking alcohol. On top of that, alcohol slows down your metabolism not only for that one you know, meal that you're drinking alcohol, but for some women specifically up to three days. And men could be 24 hours. So alcohol, though it's not horrible, and I don't you know, think it's the devil or anything, even in terms of, 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 of dieting, you do need to watch your alcohol intake if you are trying to burn fat okay, and or gain muscle. Um, it actually slows down uh, pro protein um, synthesis and it takes longer for your body to actually build new protein. So I would suggest that if you are either trying to lose weight or build muscle, you watch your alcoholic intake. Specifically for the next three weeks for this keto challenge group that we're doing, I'm saying no alcohol. I love a glass of wine. A glass of red wine with dinner does relax me. And I was doing it nightly a while ago for a long time. But the thing is, if you need your glass of wine or your alcoholic drink on a regular basis to relax, something's up. You can adjust your hormones, you can go out for a walk, you can meditate, you can just relax and paint or draw or do whatever the heck you need to do to relax. But you need to be able to relax on your own without having that crutch. Now, in terms of artificial sweeteners, what's the deal with those? Well, when you ingest food, specifically something that your brain thinks is sweet, it releases insulin, the store energy hormone. It allows the sugars that we intake to get into cells that need it and the storage tanks that need it. And whatever else doesn't get used gets converted into fat and goes into our fat cells. Now, if you raise your insulin level with an artificial drink, your body thinks it's gonna get food. Where's the food? Where's it coming from? There is no food. It was, it, you, you faked out your body. Okay, and in faking out your body, your insulin levels rise. And the whole point of ketosis and the whole point of a low carb, high fat diet is to keep insulin levels low, not spike throughout the day. The reason people eat every couple of hours in typical American diet is because the insulin level is so high. And then as soon as it drops down some, our brain's saying, whoa, we need fuel and you gotta go eat again. But with a low carb, high fat diet, you find yourself being fuller longer because your insulin levels are stable and that's the main reason why your body can burn fat because when insulin levels are low, the glucagon hormone tells our body, hey, we gotta burn fat. Because if insulin's high, that means there's sugar and there's energy in the blood system that our body needs to get to storage and or to use immediately. But if there's no insulin, where's that energy coming from, okay? 
and our body releases a hormone that tells our fat cells, start giving up the fat. And that's what we're trying to get to in ketosis, to burn through the glycogen that's in our liver, because remember the glycogen that's in our muscles, the muscles won't give it up. So we're trying to burn the glycogen, the sugar storage that is in our liver to a point that where our body then releases the hormone that says, hey guys, it's time to start burning fat as fuel. And if we're in taking alcohol, artificial sweeteners, our body ability to burn fat and natural response to wanting to burn fat is going to be stopped in its tracks, okay, practically. Would I prefer you to have one serving of artificial sweetener a day if that's going to keep you on track? Absolutely. One glass of wine, I would say for these three weeks, don't. Now, if you're telling me that the alcoholic drink is going to make or break you for the next three weeks, I'm sorry, I gotta stick to my guns on this one because it's something that I think everybody should attempt to do, okay? Especially if alcohol is a, like a daily crutch for you. Find something new for just three weeks. After that, a glass of wine a couple times a week, I don't think anything wrong with that at all. Now, if you can't lose those extra five pounds, that might be why. But there's nothing wrong with it if you're okay with it. In terms of artificial sweetener, right now for the next three weeks, if you have to have one or two servings of artificial sweetener to stay in this challenge and in this group, do it. The wine, no. The artificial sweeteners, do it for now. But for the long run, I would suggest get off of the artificial sweeteners. They're just not good in my opinion. I'd rather you, after this is over, stick to just real sugar. That's it for now. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Let me know if you got any questions or comments down below. The website again is x-gains.com and I hope you guys have a fantastic week.